Hello and welcome to the seventh producer's notes for DCS Black Shark. In the previous note, we took a look at some of the uh, offensive weapon systems of the Black Shark. But in this note, we'll take a look at the uh, defensive systems uh, to help you uh, stay alive during a mission. Now, the Black Shark has two systems the uh, laser one receiver, the LWR here. And then over here we have the UV26 uh, countermeasure panel, which will dispense flares. Uh, we'll go ahead and power these up. So we can go to the back panel, and we'll put on the uh, LWR. And then over here we'll go ahead and put the countermeasure panel on. And so we've got power up here. And when the LWR is powered up, we'll see a green light up here over here. Now regarding the LWR, you have four quadrant lights uh, which represent where laser energy is lasing you from. If the light uh, here at top is lit, it means it's in front of you, the light here behind you, to the right, and then to the left. Uh, now in the middle we have the hemisphere lights. If the top one is lit, it means the emitter is above you, the one below means you're below, and if both are lit, it means the emitter is uh, essentially co-altitude. Um, below here, we have uh, additional two lights. Uh, the upper one will indicate that the received laser energy is of sufficient power that the system uh, is probably within range of hitting you. And then the one below here indicates that the laser is being modulated uh, to the extent that it's probably guiding a weapon. So when you see either of these two lights lit, it indicates that something is either engaging you or about to engage you, and you better take some defensive action. Moving over here, we'll take a look at the UV26 panel. Uh, here we see the uh, display, which either indicates the uh, current program or the number of flares remaining. Now, uh, each wing can hold 64 uh, flares, and we can uh, cycle between the left or the right or both. Uh, right now, indicated by the light here, we have the uh, left wing selected. But with this switch, I can go ahead and go to the right wing, or I can go in the middle, and I have both lit, indicated by 128 total flares. For now, I'll go ahead and keep this just on my uh, left wing. Now, the flares can be released in a uh, set pattern and we can actually program that here. Uh, the first one here is selecting the number of sequences that we want to uh, have the flares released in. Now, we can, and this is indicated by the uh, leftmost digit here when we go to the program mode. So right now, if the program will only have one sequence of flares, but we can make that two, three, four, and then we go to five, Actually, when it's five, a total of 12 sequences, sequences will be used. Then we go to six, seven, and seven, in fact, means that there will be 15 sequences being used. Then we go to eight, and then we go to zero, and zero means it will actually uh, continuously go through sequences until uh, there are no more flares remaining. Uh, but for now, I'll go ahead and put that into two sequences. The next number indicates how many flares per sequence will be released when you activate the program. Right now it's at one, but I can go to two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then back to one again. But for now, I'll put that into two. Uh, the lower button here will actually stop the uh, dispense program uh, as it's going on. Uh, the next one indicates the interval between each flare being um, ejected. Uh, and this is indicated by the rightmost digit here. Uh, right now, when it's at zero, it, it actually indicates uh, 0.125 seconds. Then we can cycle that to one second, two seconds, three seconds, four seconds, five, six, and then we go to seven. This actually means 0.25 seconds. Then we go to eight, and then we go to nine, which actually means 0.5 seconds. But for now, I'll make that to two. Then the lower one here, this will actually reset back to the original program, and the red button here initiates the program. But for now, I'll keep my program in 222, 
and I'll bring this back to display my total numbers of players remaining. And right now, again, this is set just to the left wing. And if we look back now, we see the green light is on, indicating that the LWR is uh, up and running. So we'll go ahead and we'll take a look at this in action now. So I'm going to go ahead and disable my hover, clear my trim, and I'm going to go ahead and fly towards uh, like a couple uh, French tanks up here. <laughs> 